This is the ETBU Sports Net. We're here with head baseball coach Jared Hood. Coach, another great series for ETBU. Take two or three from McMurray. 11 wins on the season. Just talk about the overall wins for ETBU this weekend. Uh, the guys played well. We uh, we continued to hit the ball, and, and uh, you know, big guys are, are coming up in, in big situations. Um, you know, once again, it was somebody different this week than it has been in previous weeks. Uh, Josh Woldington kind of led the charge this week for us. Um, but, uh, you know, we, you know, we wouldn't be able to be that successful without the runners on base in front of him. So, um, you know, we did a nice job, um, you know, came up a little bit short, uh, game three, but, uh, you know, you got to tip your, tip your cap to the other guys. Sometimes, uh, their guy threw well, he, uh, he kept us off balance and, uh, was missing the sweet spot. So, um, you know, we didn't play necessarily bad. We just didn't, we didn't make the necessary adjustment at the right time. We were, we were about two innings too late on the adjustment and. And we lost the ball game, and in baseball that happens. Talk about the offensive production this week. Another six or seven home runs overall. I scored a lot of runs the first two games, uh, and and how the team hit. Uh, well, you know, we n we never go out there expecting to hit home runs. Um, you know, once you do that, you you get in, into some bit pretty bad habits and, and bad situations. Um, you know, if if you go back and you watch the game film. Um, especially in game one, um, I don't know how many line outs we had to the wall where we just we squared the ball up and hit some hit some of the hardest balls that I've ever seen hit at Woodsfield, um, and and got out and uh, you know and that's the that's the hard thing about this game sometimes is that you can you can hit the ball hard as you want to and still get out um, you know but uh, we continued to stay within an approach at the plate. Uh, put good swings at the, you know, on on the baseball, and uh, you know, and our guys, you know, we're we're, uh, we're a physical team. Um, you know, we've we've really made that a point in the, this off season uh, to uh, to bigger, faster, stronger, and uh, and it's really showing with our guys. Uh, you know, when we find barrel, good things do happen. Talk about the pitching. You get two of the wins uh, with Ernest Perez who stays undefeated and Kyle Lawson. And then he got some good relief pitching there in games one and two. Yeah, you can't say enough about Ernest Perez and the job that he's doing this year. Um, that kid has um, has come such a, a long ways in in his four year tenure here at, at ETBU, and um, to see him mature into the into the athlete, into the into the individual that he is now is just it's it's unbelievable to me. Um, you know, to see his growth. Um, you know, Kyle Lawson, he, once again, he gave us a chance to be successful. Um, you know, he kind of had some uh, some adversity. He had to, come, you know, kind of kind of come over and, and uh, you know, the ball wasn't exactly going where he wanted it to go, but uh, he did a nice job. And, you know, and Boudreaux and Russo came in out of the pen and, uh, um, and, and held them to where they needed to be, you know, those first two games. Uh, Cody Pierce, um, game three, uh, he pitched well enough to win. Um, we had a chance to win. I mean, when you get only give up three runs a game, you're you're supposed to win those games. And uh, and as a team, that's where we've we've got to figure out uh, how to win those games when when uh, you know the other guy's doing just a little bit better than we are. Um, we've got to figure out how to win those games. But uh, you know, our starting pitching has been good all season, um, and uh, you know, so I'm I'm really proud of those guys. Talk about this week. You're taking on Texas Dallas, a storied program in the ASC. You saw him twice in the postseason last year, split with him, and uh, you get to see him again this year. Three game series. Talk about taking on them here in at Woods Field. At UT Dallas, it's going to be a tough series. It's it's always a tough matchup when you go against those guys. Um, you know, we match up very well with each other, especially last year. Um, you know, as you mentioned, we we played them earlier in the season last year. Uh, I think when, uh, we we got the series two and one series, um, and then we met in the postseason and, and slugged it out for a couple of games, and we got one of them, and they got the other one to knock us out and send us home. Um, you know, so it, it's going to be. Um, I would expect nothing less this weekend than than just an all around dogfight uh, with those guys, and uh, you know, and those are the kind of games that you want because those are exciting. And those those are the kind of games that uh, really show the character of your team. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us today here on the TV Sportsnet.